Well, hello. So today I'm testing the Dyson vacuum against the Shark vacuum. And perhaps the first thing you can see is how small the foot plate is on the Dyson compared to that of the Shark, which is considerably larger. This does mean it's going to take an awful lot more time to vacuum a large floor area with the Dyson. The next thing you might notice is the amount of dust the Shark has collected whereas the Dyson just appears to be collecting plastic beads and I'm really not sure where it's picking these up from. Although it does seem to be doing it quite effectively. Um, both of them seem to be working quite well in terms of airflow and suction. Now the other thing that I uh, particularly like about the Dyson is its small portability whereas the Shark is considerably larger. However the downside to the Dyson is the fact that it's not particularly good for your back when you're vacuuming because it does mean that you end up bending and stooping quite a bit as you work. Ouch! Yeah, not good. Okay, whereas the shark is considerably taller and as you might imagine, it does mean less stooping while you're working. So it's much better for your spine. Oh yeah! The Dyson doesn't have any tools with it, which means you only have the foot to work with, whereas the Shark does come with a selection of tools, which is handy for getting into edges and corners and doing stairs and upholstery, those kind of things. The Shark has a detachable wand, which means you can use it as an extension pole for getting into hard to reach areas, whereas the Dyson is fixed and you're relying solely on the foot plate. I'd have to say overall, I think the Shark is the better option. Yeah. 